Hello guys, this is a follow-up video on pretty recent video I shot on this channel where I received a few very valuable comments so I decided to kind of explain myself. So not sure if you've seen that, I will link that in the description below. A few days ago I've published eloquent accessors with parameters and I will remind you the situation from API resource I'm calling the method from model which calculates the price for specific dates. At first I thought it could be an accessor but since it has parameters, I turned that into a general model method. And a few people in the comments said that they preferred different way to structure this method, not in the model. So let me explain my train of thoughts and let's try to change that according to their suggestions because we're in this together, we're learning as I am as well. Before I make any code changes, I would just say that it's totally a personal preference. I keep repeating that I should almost buy a cap or a t-shirt with saying like it depends or it's your personal preference because that's number one answer I give to a lot of questions that I get on email or YouTube or Twitter. It depends and it's your personal preference how to structure these things. You can do model, service, action, or whatever. The goal is for the code to be maintainable for the future for yourself and future team, which may not exist yet, but your project may grow and then you hire a team and then that code should be still understandable. So that's the goal. How you make it understandable, that's your personal preference. Now let's get back to the code and let's see various preferences. So here are a few comments that I want to emphasize. And first I will start with the comments that I don't think it's the best fit here in this scenario, and then we'll get to the better fits. So Olivier says that it's sometimes a good way to use local scope instead of just method. And yeah, I agree with that. If I had query here, so for example, we could do scope uh, price for dates, something like this. So scope price for dates. And then we could use that price for dates with the parameters in the eloquent query. But in my case, it's not eloquent query It's just calculation for the existing already existing eloquent model for the apartment. So in this case, scope is not a good fit in my opinion. So let's revert that. But still, thank you for the comments. Scopes are a great feature, just in not that particular scenario, in my opinion, again. Next comment comes from Nord Coders, and it's about state. So model should not be the place to have that logic. Model should be thin, as they say, with external logic. And that could be this state price by dates. Personally, I haven't used state pattern myself in my projects. So I've read about it a bit and the best article that I found is from Brand back from 2019, but the pattern still stays the same way. So state pattern is about state of model, like invoice color, for example. So you could do something like this, like get state color, also use enum for various states. So stuff like that. And also there's a package I found by Spati with Laravel model states with also pretty similar examples. So payment state or invoice state. But in this, my personal case, I don't see that price as a state. State is a pretty static thing, so is it paid or not? For calculation of the price, for the dynamic calculation, personally, I don't see that state as a perfect fit in this scenario. Again, you may disagree with me on anything that I say in this video, then let's discuss further in the comments. And now let's get to the comment, which I do feel are valuable and practically useful, and let's try to change the code. So a few people said the same thing. So Renz, then Anton from what I understand the name and also Mohammed here all say that model is not the place to save that logic. It should be elsewhere. And Mohammed says it should be action class like this. And then these comments talk about apartment service, service class, service class, or even manager class. My personal take on this in my personal situation here in the apartment, it's only one method. All the other code in this eloquent model is strictly about eloquence, so relationships, fillables and stuff like that, and I need just one method. So for that one method, I don't see a big deal to have it inside of the model instead of creating a separate class with just one method. Again, it comes back to personal preference. If I have multiple methods for apartment, calculate this, validate that, then of course it's a candidate for separate class like service. But for one method, again, I don't see a big deal here. 
pretty ironically on Laravel Daily Com very recently on April 4th, we released an article about service classes stating when you should use service classes. And one of the examples is why services are not models because model can become a really big file with thousand lines. That is if you put a lot of methods inside of the models. And let's actually extract that method to service class and see if it works. And here I will show you an interesting feature of PHP Storm. So for example, if you highlight the method, right click, refactor, extract class, then you can specify the folder. And we don't have that services folder yet. So instead of models, we do app services, then class name would be apartment service with potentially many methods about apartments for various calculations and other stuff. And we just click refactor. We don't want to add it to Git yet. And there we go. We have class apartment service with that method extracted to here. The namespace we need to change. So PHP Storm didn't perform the namespace change, but in the model itself, look here. In the model, that method remained with just calling the service, initializing that in the constructor here. And it's underlined because I've changed the namespace. So I need to add that here on top here. Okay, so I've performed the refactoring with PHP Storm. And now in the apartment search resource, we could call the service. I'm not sure if it works in API resources. So I will just experiment. Will it resolve apartment service here? Apartment service automatically? No, that's not how it works in API resources. So we need to create the apartment service, for example, here. Let's do it in line in this case. So new apartment service, calculate price for dates. But now look what happens. So in theory, we've refactored that into the service and now our model is thinner. So we could even remove that service because we don't use that in the model. We just use that in the API resources. But in my case, again, it's not a great fit because in the apartment service, look what happens inside of the method. It uses this prices. So this method relied on eloquent model with this prices as apartment prices already inside of eloquent model. So we need to pass the apartment here. So apartment, and then instead of this prices everywhere, we need to change that to apartment prices. Also auto complete it here. So yeah, we need to pass the apartment and we haven't done it yet in the search resource. So we need to add this at the end. So yeah, now it's a service and not a model method, but I don't feel great in this situation. And that's where we come to personal preference. In theory, service is better because it's not in the model and model should not know about the logic of the calculation. But then the code becomes not so easy to read. We need to introduce a service here. We need to pass this here, or we could of course leave it as this calculate price for dates here and still have that inside of the model. As we do here, we just need to pass this as the third parameter. But then I'm not sure if I totally fulfilled the comments in the YouTube that it shouldn't be in the model at all. It should be a service. Not sure. So now I'm kind of even confused how to end this video. Was it a lesson to you? Was it an experiment? Was it an answer to your comment? Not sure. Let's call it an experiment of refactoring model to a service with the conclusion that again, it's your personal preference. Technically, if you have a lot of logic around some eloquent model, it should be separated into some kind of service class, for example. But in my case, for one method related to the relationship of this prices, personally, it feels better to have it native in eloquent model. With all that context and the full story, what do you think about that now? Let's discuss the same topic the second time and see you in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.